It is a giant in its own right. The giant African land snail. Mike Michilwa is the proud farmer rearing these creatures at his home in Usoma Beach, Kisumu County. So how did he slide into this venture? My first exposure to the giant African land snail was actually in Ghana. We had gone in for a conference on fair trade issues. And we are walking the streets of Ghana and we are finding people eating all these strange snails. In fact, we thought it was a joke. And when we asked them what they were doing, they also thought you were crazy because you were allowing a lot of food to run around without diet. So after that, it became a bit of a joke. When uh, I came back, I would come across one, pick it up, and I tell my guys, by the way, this is food, this is money, you should keep them. That was in 2016. One year later, Mike got the required license from the Kenya Wildlife Service, as snails are categorized as wild creatures. Being hermaphrodites, snails reproduce really fast. Mike started off with 500 of them. So one snail can easily go out and uh, reproduce three, two to 300 eggs in a clutch, twice or so uh, a year. So with one snail, you can easily have uh, hundreds of snails overrunning your compound in, in a period of a year. Today, Mike tends to close to 2,000 snails in this greenhouse structure, where he keeps them using these special basins. With a bit of internet research, Mike learned how to take care of these slimy creatures. We use the basins because it allows them us to give them greater protection. They need a lot of calcium for their eggshells. And again, the soil is not just any soil. You have to take it, you have to sterilize it. So one way, of course, then is heating. Yeah, or boiling it in, uh, with hot water for some time to kill any potential in, uh, enemies that might be in it. Even a lot of the waste food you have, you've eaten mangoes or you've had pineapple or popo, the, the waste uh, covers and the rest feed them to your snails. They love fruits. Yeah. Vegetables, again, the leaves you can't eat, whether it's from your farm or your patches. Again, whether it's sukumawiki, cabbages, they are things they'll eat. Apart from the diet, snails require cool and moist temperatures to thrive and breed well. Even though snails are easy to maintain, Mike has brought on board two farmhands to help with the operations here. He has, however, learned the hard way. We've lost uh, a number of snails to rats. Uh, when you just have your, your netting and you think they're safe, then you suddenly discover rats have also developed a taste for your snail, so you lose some of that. We've had a pest also that is a relative to a fly that again comes in, lays eggs. If well taken care of, the giant African land snail can live for a span of five to seven years. The returns in this venture are not bad either. Currently, the, the market price is $25, so see about 2500 for about a kilo of snails. So generally that would be looking at about 10 to 15 snails or so to, to be able to get that amount. Before you go yak or ew, Mike tells me snails are actually a good source of white meat, rich in proteins and vitamins. But those who eat it say it, say it tastes like fried gizzard. So since I come from the Western communities, then the gizzard is quite an interesting thing to look at. Typically you take it, Put it in a pot of boiling water for five or so minutes. That gets re rid of the mucus. And uh, after that, then you can either fry it, you can bake it, you can boil it. The market is so big because uh, there's a large demand from West Africans. There are a lot of West African brothers and sisters in the country right now. They're the Asians and they're, they're the Europeans. According to Kenya Wildlife Service, there are very few snail keepers in Kenya. Opposition leader Raila Odinga's daughter, Rosemary, is among those farmers. KWS, however, conducts regular monitoring and inspection for anyone practicing game farming. But the beautiful thing with snails is they're not noisy, they're very quiet. They, they can be used as pets, so even kids can handle them without a uh, problem. For Mike, snail farming will run through his family as his children begin to show interest. He now has a lot of work ahead of him to meet the expected demand. And he's not clawing down anytime soon. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. <laughs>